Hello everyone, good day. Today is video number two of the series that I'm doing on testing this, this female that's in heat with the Draminsky ovulation detector. I'm also doing a vaginal cytology to see the cells. And I'm also doing a progesterone test with a K9P4 analyzer at the same time. So we're gonna see the results of each one of the methods and you guys be the judge. Yesterday she was at 970. This means she's been in heat for a couple of days now, you know, like five or six days, but according to the employees, she's only been bleeding for, bleeding for two days, sorry. Okay, so we turn on the Jerminski. We wanna clean her really well. She's already flagging, but according to the progesterone yesterday, she was at 1.48. So, I mean, she, She's not ready yet. So let's see what this gives us today. Okay, hold on one second. All right. You wanna make sure you wanna clean that really well so you don't give her a bacterial infection. Okay, one, two, three. 380 okay so yesterday she was at 970 and then today she's at 380 so she dropped so according to the Draminsky I'm supposed to start breeding her today okay that means that there was an LH peak and it dropped so according to this the progesterone levels had had to have rise okay so we're gonna go to the smear now Okay, so we're gonna go with a smear now. We're gonna see the cells under the microscope in a second. All right, let's go stain this. Okay, so now we're gonna stain this little slide. Again, I'm using Gram stain. We're using crystal violet first. Okay. Then it's iodine. Gram's iodine afterwards. Okay, then this is alcohol. And last is saffronin. You can use different stains, it doesn't have to be this one, it could be diff quick, it could be, I mean, any kind of stain. Okay, now we're gonna wash it. Okay, let's go to the microscope. Okay, so we have this slide here, as you guys can see, most of all these cells are already cornified, which means they don't have a nucleus inside. You can barely see them here, here, but most of them, what you want to look for, it looks like a Rice Krispie, like cereal, and without the nucleus inside. Okay, we're looking at it in 10x, and we want to put it in 4x to see more or less the whole perspective. Okay, let's all right. As you can see, all these cells, mostly all of them, are cornified. 
okay? And all of this is nice and white, it's clear. So this is a female almost ready to breed, or if not ready to breed. It's very hard to tell with a, with a vaginal cytology. I mean, it's a good method, but it's not 100% accurate, okay? So remember what you look for is these two cells right here, which is a nuclear superficial and cornified when you're ready to breed. So, but what you want mostly is all a nuclear cells. Okay, let's go to the progesterone. Okay, so we're gonna do the blood collection today. I'm gonna do it here. You wanna put alcohol. You wanna put something to restrain so the vein pops out a little bit. Okay. And we're gonna check her progesterone levels and see how they are today. According to the Jerminski, I should start inseminating today. But I go by progesterone. Okay, you want the hole facing you. Okay, you want to feel the vein. And some dogs is very hard because you can't even see them or feel them. But practice makes perfect. All right, so when you feel it, and all you do is you put in the tip until you see blood in the needle, okay? And that's all you need to do. You don't want to push it hard. You don't. You just leave it there and and pull the needle backwards. Then you press here, so no blood comes out. And that's it. Let's go spin this blood. Okay, so we have the blood spun. Um, we want to make sure it's nice and clear. And we're gonna do the progesterone test right now in the P4 analyzer. And then we're going to get 30 UL of serum. Okay, make sure there's no bubbles. Yesterday she was at 1.48 nanograms. Okay, so the Draminski dropped. That means there's an LH surge and that means the progesterone levels should be going up. So you put the 30 UL in the serum with the buffer. You shake it about 15, 20 times and you get 75 UL of the buffer serum mix. You put it in the little hole. And we put it in the incubation chamber for 15 minutes. Okay, and when 15 minutes are up, we'll do the progesterone test and I'll be right back. Okay, so the 15 minutes are almost up. Yesterday, the progesterone levels were at 1.48 and what I'm looking for is five nanograms, 5.0. So as soon as the machine's alarm goes off, we're gonna put it in the P4 analyzer and see the rise. Okay, you press select. Okay, so as you guys can see, today is at 2.47. So the Draminski was right. Yesterday it was 970 in the Draminski and it dropped to 380. But 
in the instructions it says to breed to you know start breeding today but as you can see like I told you yesterday she's more or less three days from ovulation and she's at 2.47 and tomorrow she's gonna go up again okay so tomorrow we'll do the third video and see how uh, the progesterone levels are rising and we'll take it from there again I want to thank you guys for following me on YouTube and always looking at my videos please like and share and subscribe to my channel if you like the videos and may God bless you all have a good day bye bye